Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here for my Creative Year Facebook group. Um, today is my day for my muse and this is what I'm doing. I was going to do a different subject but I decided since this stuff was on my desk and I can see it, this is what I need to do because it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to dig through piles behind me to find something. So, as you all know, I hope maybe you know, you don't know, I've been on a bend where I've been doing a lot of um, metal embossing. And these are my latest projects for metal embossing. I have a, a, a die set. Who is this made by? See, I got rid of the paperwork that goes with it but I have a die set and I, I didn't want to run it through the machine because I know that makes a funky indentation but I wanted to trace them so what I did was I took the die and turned it the opposite direction you need for cutting the you know the completely flat side let me put my stuff up here let me get my stuff Here's my uh, two and a half square, two and a half by two and a half square piece. I laid this kind of diagonally on here because if you lay it this way, it is so close that you might not be able to cut around it when you're done. So I tilt it to a side. And then I'll show you why I'm pushing it over this way in a second. So then I take my tool here, the uh, walnut, whoops, walnut hollow tool. And I have the um, Teflon tip put in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go around the ornament shape. I'm just going to trace it. And it leaves a very nice impression. Well, along with this set here comes the little bitty piece that is the top to the ornament. I think it goes this way. Right? Oh, come on, focus. Yeah. Forget it. It's not going to focus. Anyway, so you see this, and then take that off, and then I'm going to put this on the side here, and I'm going to trace around this. Whoops, wrong end. Let's get the proper end. It's a little more tricky to trace this because it's so small, but I just think that since it comes with the set, it goes best with the stuff I'm using. And I'm always sure to put these back in the original package that I have them in. Well, not the original package, but my envelope here because I don't want anything to disappear. And I store my die sets like this. If the die set is tall, I take a piece of magnet and I cut it in half and glue it onto a piece of white cord cardstock. And then there was a back side, so I took the other half of the magnet sheet and glued it on the back of here. And then that way I have the whole set and they fit nicely in the little holder that I use for my die sets. Okay. So I want to make a Christmas, orna Christmas ornament out of this. And I'm going to go ahead and let me move you down lower. Let me turn off the light off the ceiling fan. Maybe that'll help the glare. Okay, so I, I cut the light off the ceiling fan. It was dark and I couldn't see what I was doing. So I turned that back one on, that back on, and then turned off the other lamp I have here on the side. So now maybe I'll be able to see and you're not going to be in a glare the whole time. All right, so I did the little line across the top here. And I have some of these that I've already made the lines in and this is the way it should I need to cut this one a little closer but this is what it should happen later on if you if I just did the lines in the top here it doesn't have as much texture excuse me as much texture so I went ahead and cut those extra pieces out and every time I did an ornament I made sure to cut the supplemental piece to it so let's see what do I want to do I have piddled around with this for the last day and a half. 
Well, it's more like three days. I'll show you all of them individually in a minute. I think I want to try to do one that has scalloped edges on it. Now, it doesn't matter these aren't perfect, and they're not going to be because I've already tried this several times, and when I do it, I tend to go the wrong direction here. So I'm going to go around it again. And I really see in these, this is not the same as this, but that's okay. It, it really does not matter to me. So I want some of this to stick up, but I don't want to make it really bulgy, if that's the proper word. So I'm going to take the stylus that I usually use, and I'm going to emboss it on the other side so that it, well, that's too big, so that it sticks up on the opposite side. So I'm going to put, I just rub, sorry, just rub this into the metal. I'm not really making any kind of a circle and then filling it in or anything. I'm just pressing down on it and it makes its own little ball. And there you go. There's, every, can you see, wait, can you see they stick up? There you go. Right there. All right, so then I'm going to make, I'm going to take the other side of the stylus that's a smaller ball than this one, and I'm going to make, uh, do I want to do that? No, I do not. <laughs> I'm going to make lines. I like lines. So I'm going to do lines in here. I'll just go along and do the lines in here. I'll make it easier. Okay, there's that. And what else do I want? Um, let's do another line through here. And then let's do the year two o. Oh, one, nine. Then I'm going to make another little little line underneath this one. And this one I will take the little ball tool and do the little tiny balls in there, make little tiny bumps. I guess that, I don't know if that's the official term. I'm debossing this side and embossing the other side. How's that? There we go. There we go. And then I'm going to make little bitty marks like a asterisk on both sides of the 2019. So I don't want to leave a lot of open space. So there they are. Whoops, come on, focus camera. Can you see them? All right. All righty, so I think what I want to do next is I want to take this and I'm going to put some kind of a, maybe a, a bling in there. So let me make a larger indentation here. I'm just taking it and rubbing it into the um, into the metal. This is tinned copper. Tinned copper. Alright, and um, so I just put that in there and so you can see I made a nice big indentation on the back side and a nice hole there. And then whatever I glue on here will be filled with glue probably there. And then I'll stick something that has a little height to it in there. Um, let's see. And then I'm going to put a line this way and a line this way. And I want to go like straight across or kind of tilted and just make lines. I'm not looking to make it too complicated. 
Just want to put something radiating out from what's going to be the bling piece in there. I'm just indentating the metal because I have a soft surface underneath it. Now, because this is popped up, this is popped up, I'm going to make this last part pop out. I'm just going to take the stylus and I'm going to rub so that it'll pop out on the other side. I discovered the other day in someone's video that they had one of these jewelry, um, I don't know what you call them, it's some kind of a felt cloth and it worked really well to make stuff go even deep, deeper on the other side. So I'm going to take the cloth and put it over my fun foam. And I am going to go around this even more. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that pops out way far. Okay, so then I want to go around this with the stylus so that it gives it greater definition. There we go. I really want this part to pop out. And I might just leave it plain. I don't know. None, I don't think I've left any of the bottoms of the others plain. Maybe this is, should be the first one that's plain. Yeah, I'm going to leave it plain. So this is done. Except for now I need to finish the top here. And just put little lines. I think I would have liked it if it popped out the other direction. So, Actually, I can make this silver. Alright, so that's what I'll do. I'll take this since I popped it out on this side. And I'll put it so it's bowed. It'll be a, it'll be a, it'll be a silver color. That'll be cool. All right, so this one's finished. So let me show you the others that I've made. This now some of them have already been filled on the back. So there's that one, which is similar to this one, I think. There's that one. And I did not put the year on all of these. Remember, these are on a two and a half inch by two and a half inch square. Some of them I already cut the edges off a little bit. There's this one. This one's very plain. I think I might have to doll this one up a little more. So let me set that one aside. There's this one I cut a little too close on the corner there, but I'll fix that. And this one. And this one. If you notice, there's no fancy doodling. It's just lines and poking stuff. Nothing really, really complicated because I didn't want it to be complicated. So then, you know, that in order to keep stuff from caving in when I start sanding on the other side, I filled it in with spackle from the hardware store. So these are the guys that are spackled, and these two need to be spackled. Um... I think I've shown the angels in another video, and I just glued, ugh, that looks unsightly. I just glued, um, I'm going to have to glue another piece on this one, cover that up. I just glued these on here to this morning. Just random pieces of cardstock I had left over because I'm trying to whittle my supply down. Then I made these, which I'm not real thrilled about, but, you know, I'll find a use for them. Just random cardstock that was left over from other projects. So there's these two. One's a little different than the other. Ooh, let me back you out. One's a little different than the other. Basic design is almost the same. But there's those. Then I had this guy in another video. And he just got glued on this morning. Here's the other ones that I've done. That are glued. And I'm ready to poke a hole in the top. And put... Um, some kind of a, a nice string in the top of it. I didn't put the year in these guys. I just left them the way they are. But I'll write the year and my family name on the back. All right, so that is my muse for today. 
for my creative year. I hope you enjoyed looking at all the little ornaments. These are going to be gifts for family and friends and Christmas cards. So if you're one of those people that usually gets a card from me, this might be in your card. I'm going to go, after I, after I um, finish making these, then I'm going to go back with, over with the black and colored them in, you know, do the black paint on them like I've showed in previous videos. And then they will be ready to um, turn into regular ornaments. They'll have the tops glued on and then glued to the back of the paper, filled in and the glue to the back of the paper. And then I'll poke a hole in them and make them ornaments. All right, so again, this has been my muse for my creative year, hashtag my creative year 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and visit the other artists. If you do not belong to the Facebook group, it's not that hard to uh, apply. All you have to do is just hit the join group, they ask you a few questions, and it's over. All right, I will see you guys later this month. Bye.